Hey guys, so because we're doing a smoky eye, I'm starting out with the eyes and I'm just applying some tape to the outer corners and then I'm going in with Tarte Shape Tape Concealer to prime my eyelids. I'm just blending it out using a damp sponge. Then just to set the lids down, I'm just using a pressed powder from Astralis and an F35 from Sigma. Then I'm using the Anastasia Soft Glam Palette for today's look and I'm taking the shade Burnt Orange and I'm just buffing this all throughout the crease. I forgot how pigmented this was so I did apply a fair bit but we go in and blend later. And then I'm taking the shade Sienna and I'm pretty much just doing the exact same thing that I did before. Then dipping into the shade Cypress Umber, which is this beautiful deep chocolatey brown. I'm taking a MAC 217 blending brush and I'm just applying this in the outer corners and blending it in through the crease. Then I'm taking this Sigma Gel Liner Pot. It is not available anymore, I didn't realize, but Maybelline makes a really good one as well if you don't have one. Um, so I'm just using it as a base because it makes everything look super smoky. And I'm going back in with Cypress Umbar and I'm just kind of blending the edges of that gel liner so it doesn't look too harsh and messy. Then I'm taking the shade Mulberry which is this beautiful like deep burgundy shade and I'm using a Sigma E54 just to pack this onto the lid. And then just going back in with my MAC 217, I blended out those edges. And then I'm taking the black from the palette, which is called Noir, and I'm just building this up in the outer corner just to make it really super smoky. And then I'm bringing the remaining, the remaining, the remaining product through the crease. And then I just went in with a totally clean E35 blending brush and just blended all the edges. And then I just picked up some more of the shade Mulberry and packed it onto the lid again because I did lose a bit of the intensity and I wanted it to stay nice and burgundy. Then I'm taking my felt tip liner from Sigma. It's in the shade Wicked, which is just a matte black. And I'm creating some wings. They were not the best wings. I'm gonna go ahead and say it now, but they did the job, I suppose. Then I removed the tape and took a little bit of micellar water just on a cotton round and I got rid of any fallout and kind of cleaned up all of my edges. And then I went in with my Sigma Longwear Liner Pencil and just tight lined my eyes. And then I used this insanely expensive Givenchy Luxury Mascara. Oh my god. It smells really, really strong and I mean it's okay but I don't really think it's worth the price. Just so you guys know. And then I applied some falsies. These are the Vegas Nay Shining Star Lashes. Moving on to the face, I primed using the Technic Primer Spray. And then I went in with the MAC Hyper Real Foundation in Rose Gold Effects. And I'm just using my fingers to basically apply that all over my face. And then I'm going in with the Dior Forever Foundation in the shade Linen. And I'm just blending this out using a damp sponge. As you can see, this foundation literally gives the nicest finish. It's so beautiful and especially over that MAC product I used before. Then I got rid of my under eye bags with the Benefit Boying uh, Brightening Concealer. So I just applied a bit of that underneath the eyes and then I went over with my Tarte Shape Tape in Light Sand and I just applied some down the center of my face as well to highlight. And once again, I just took the same damp sponge and blended everything out. To set everything down, I used that Astralis pressed powder in the shade Natural again. So I used an F35 for basically all the smaller inner portions of my face. And then I used a Real Techniques multitask brush just to get all of the rest of my face set down. Then I took this Zoeva Basic Moments palette and I used the contour shade from the palette just to carve out my cheekbones and kind of bronze up the face and give a bit of colour. It's a very cool tone bronzer but I really love it for contouring and I'm using the Exo Beauty bronzer brush to do this. 
Then I just used the blush from the palette as well. I just wanted something really light and nothing too dramatic because of the eye look. So it was the perfect fit. And then to highlight, I took the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Highlighter in Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal. I took the more intense shade and just highlighted all of the usual areas with the Anastasia Illuminator brush. And then I just set everything down using MAC Fix Plus in Pink Light. Onto the under eyes, I took the shade Sienna on a Sigma F63 brush. This is actually a concealer blending brush, but I love it for my eyes. So I just buffed that like all over the lower lash line. And then I took that Cypress Umber and did the same thing. And then on an E15, which is a flat definer, I took Noir, which is the black, and just pressed this into my lash line and joined it up with my winged liner. And then I just went back in with that blending brush, made sure everything was seamless, and then I went in to the highlight shade from the palette, which is called Tem Tempera. And I just highlighted my brow bone, but I wanted a more intense highlight on the inner corner, so I took the same highlight that I used on my face. Then I just took my liner pencil and lined my waterline and popped on some lower lash mascara. To finish off the look, I am going in with MAC Lip Pencil in Boldly, Ble Boldly Bare, that is a tongue twister. And I'm just outlining my lips first, but then I did fill them in completely with that pencil just to make the lipstick last as long as possible. And the lipstick I'm using is the Colourpop and Kathleen Lights lipstick in What's Your Sign, which is one of the most beautiful nudes ever. And then I just topped it off with the Bourjois 3D FX lip gloss in the shade Brun. Brun. And that completed the look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video. So they don't come with pumps, which is very annoying. I did purchase pumps for my bottles. Uh